Hello my friends out there, hope you're doing great today. Hope you're safe and sound. Welcome to another video. Today we want to go through my top six of functions and uh, things that I love about my Boss Katana. So I think I should mention that I, I have MK1 just because I don't necessarily uh, need the, the advantages of um, MK2 and I'm pretty fine with that. So without further ado, let's jump in. So the first thing I want to talk about is obviously the most important thing about a good amplifier and that's the sound. And I'm talking about the built-in sounds, which are pretty, pretty good in my opinion. So the, the, the whole range is going from a, a really good clean sound to a nice crunch sound for blues stuff, etc. Um, nice rock gainy stuff up up to really metal tones. So it's a really, really versatile amp. Uh, it's kind of a Swiss army knife. can't complain about the sound that it sounds uh, like 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 a solid state amp it sounds really good it, it it reacts dynamically to the to the strength of your plucking hand etc so it it sounds great it really sounds great of course mk2 is a little bit more versatile because of its variant uh, variance button that is on the top of the amp but i guess some of you might know uh, dave simpson which which tested MK1 compared to MK2 and he preferred and like many others preferred the, the sounds of MK, MK1. So they said it, it just sounds a little bit more, more lively, yeah, if you will. There were many players, professional players, YouTubers that, that loved the Boss Katana sound. So really can't, can't be wrong using it. And if you really try to compare it with a uh, valve tone, I don't think you could hear much of a difference, at least if you if you consider the, the price difference and that your your Boss Katana will sound the same in every stage and every temperature, uh, not like your your tube amplifiers. So and that leads me to point number two. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm mostly a pedalboard guy, so I will use the built-in tones for playing at home and doing my videos. And on stage, I will mostly use my pedal boards because yeah, I just love dealing and playing with pedals and trying some different uh, things out. That's what the Boss Katana can do, yeah, really, really well, and that's being a pedal platform. I mean, to mention again, Dave Simpson uses it as a pedal platform. I used it as a pedal platform uh, on my rehearsals. Uh, I will shoot another video about how well it takes pedals, trying some different pedals and stuff. But I can really say I tried it with the, the clean settings and going straight in with my pedal board or even a crunch tone and. It sounds fantastic. It really sounds fantastic. I also tried it with a 4x12 Marshall cap and with my Scylla cap and yeah, it's a really good pedal platform. So if you want a reliable and affordable pedal platform, you should definitely check out the Boss Katana. All right, number three on my list is, uh, let's say a small point, but 
at least for me with my bad back is a pretty good one and that's the weight of the, the, the head at least. And so I can only tell you about the head and not about the combos, but as far as I know, the, the combos are pretty lightweight as well. And that's what, what makes a difference compared to a big Marshall JVM or JCM 800 um, head or like my, my friend the combo it's like I, I showed this to my to my buddy he wanted to to see my boss katana wanted to try it out so I, I took it with one hand no problems it's like yeah no stress just just a lightweight head that doesn't really bother you when you have to bring it to to anywhere all right so now we come into point four and that's something which is pretty handy when you want to play at home at bedroom levels. And that's the built-in power uh, attenuator. So you can use the Boss Katana with 100 watts, 50 watts and 0.5 watts. Um, at home I'm only in the 0.5 watt setting because it's, it's still, if you turn it up, it's pretty loud. Especially through a 2x12 cabinet. And of course you can achieve some nice, really nice tones when you're in the 0.5 setting, um, cranking it up a little bit and the crunch, crunch channel sounds really good. And of course in a band configuration or yeah, let's say in a rehearsal or, or live situation, you can use it, you can run it on 50 watts or even 100 watts. I, I, I tried it on rehearsals with a really loud drama on the 50 watt setting with a, a 4x12 cabinet and it, it sounded phenomenal and it was definitely loud enough. I was running at, I don't know, half half volume and half the master, maybe a little more, but it, if you're running it on 100 watts, it's way too loud in my opinion. So it's really cool to have, yeah, just a little bit extra headroom, let's say, but the 50 watts would be enough for me. I can tell so far. So whether you want to play at home with a nice tone or you want to play in a band configuration on live gigs or rehearsals, the Boss Katana deals with it like a boss. All right, so now we're with point five and that's something that I don't think many of you would agree that it's great, but at least for me, it is great. And that's the, the auxiliary input. If you consider that this amp is perfect for home use, it's perfect for even live situations, um, it's not obvious that it has a, a line input and that's what the Boss Katana has. So I can use it at home with my backing tracks, for my videos, for practicing and stuff. And that's something that is, yeah, at least for me, is pretty important. And I really appreciate that that feature on the Boss Katana because most of the amps out there like the small practice amps to have this feature, but but the, the really the loud and and uh, I say geek worthy amps don't offer functionality like that. And yeah, it's pretty sad because I don't want to have five different amps. Okay, I have four, so it's fine. Uh, I don't want to have too many amps just for different applications, to be honest. If you can have one amp which does it all, it's, it's great. Like, like I said, it's the Swiss Army knife. So normally I'm doing these videos uh, like with my top five things, but the Boss Katana is, is, let's say, it's so good that I have to put another, another point on my list. And that's the price of the amp. I paid like 300 bucks for a brand new MK1. He, now in 2020, so of course there's MK, MK2 out already, which cost in Germany 389 bucks. So I saved around 80 or 90 bucks, um, <clears throat> considering that I'm happy with, with, with MK1, but even MK2, and I, I don't, don't know the price of the combos, but they're affordable as well. And if you consider the, the, the functionality, the tone and, and everything that, that is given to you by this amp, 
it's, it's no question that every guitarist should have a, a Boss Katana, whether it's for a pedal platform, for home use, for as a backup amplifier, it's a really bang for the buck. All right, so that were my top six things that I love about the Boss Katana. And to be honest, it offers much, much more. Uh, I guess some of you might disagree with my top six or would at least say there are other features that are better or more important to them, but uh, like the, the USB out to record directly into your computer, which I don't use, I haven't tried out yet, but um, that's another thing that is awesome. And of course, all the built-in effects that you can even uh, modify within the, I don't know what's it called, the Boss Katana Studio. I don't know what's the name of it, but it offers so many things uh, for such a bargain price. And that's really, really cool. All right, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate your support. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you, if you like this video. And if you have the chance to try out a Boss Katana, you should definitely give it a try. Have a nice day and see you on the next one. Peace.